Hey guys, welcome to winter in Brisbane. It's about 10 degrees here, which is very, very cold for us. And here's Kelly, she's trying to catch some rays under the table. What I'm going to talk to you today about is inverter efficiency. Now, inverter efficiency to us is very important because, uh, all, basically, efficiency of the whole system is very important to us because we install and maintain, maintain remote area communication systems. So they're all solar powered. So we spend a lot of time looking at the efficiency of the system and trying to design it to be maximally efficient. Because if we can have uh, better efficiency, we need less batteries and uh, also generally the drain on the batteries will be less, so we have a greater lifespan of the batteries. Now here we've got the Victron Energy Multi Plus. This is a great bit of gear. Uh, I previously had an inverter from a Taiwanese company uh, called MPP Solar. Um, yeah, that was an absolute nightmare. Spending a little bit more money and going for this Victron inverter is the best thing I've ever done. Okay, so talking about inverter efficiency, how efficient is the average inverter? Well, that Victron, uh, I think, is around about 96% efficient or something like that they quoted at. Uh, generally, inverter efficiency will range between uh, about 90 and 97% efficient. But one thing that's not spoken about much is that inverters aren't line linearly efficient. And what I mean by that is this. Let's have a look at this graph. This is just a, a kind of a, an average graph of uh, trying to explain inverter efficiency. So it's modeling a 4 kVA inverter. So we've got the number of watts used here on the x-axis and the percent efficiency on the y. So let's have a look at 1,000 watts first. We go up, follow it up. At a thousand watts consumption, we're pretty close to maximum efficiency. We're we're sitting there around about that ninety-five percent. As we go below a thousand watts, the efficiency starts to fall fall off. Below about two hundred watts, it falls off precipitously, to the extent that if we're using, say, fifty watts, we're sitting only around about twenty percent efficient, which means that only twenty percent of the power going into the inverter is used for real work or powering real loads. The rest is wasted. Okay, so moving forward from that, um, the, the main reasons for that, I guess, is, is uh, something called self-consumption. So different inverters have different amounts of self-consumption. It's basically the, the power that it takes to power just the circuitry in the inverter. And this guy up here uses about 30 watts an hour. So if I just had this inverter running without any loads, that's how much it uses. So any given night, if we assume a 10 hour night, it's using 300 watt hours, or basically a third of a kilowatt, just powering its circuitry. Now in our system, we've got 20 kilowatt hours of battery storage and they're AGM batteries so I aim for a 20% drawdown each night. So that basically equates to around about 4 kilowatt hours that I've budgeted for my nightly usage. Uh, so at 300 watt hours this system's not too bad uh, for those parasitic loads. The previous inverter I had, the MPP Solar, used to use about 70 watts per hour uh, that was pretty terrible. Basically, almost a quarter of my nightly battery drawdown was just to power the circuitry in the inverter. Um, so, yeah, moving to this Victron was a good, good idea, even from that perspective. Next section is what manufacturers do to reduce self that self-consumption. Okay, so most inverters will have um, a variety of standby modes. Um, the MPP Solar one used to basically uh, turn off the power uh, and then it would wait to see a load and then it would turn it back on again. That's all good if you're running uh, some, you know, just fridges or something like that that only come on and off occasionally. But 
most houses these days have a variety of parasitic loads. So you're going to have things like your laptop charger, um, your mobile phone charger, all those kind of things. And in there, you know, it can easily add up to 80 watts, all those parasitic loads. Uh, and what they essentially do is they defeat that standby power mode. Uh, they basically keep the inverter on at all times. So you're, you're powering those little loads at only 20% efficient. So there's a variety of ways to reduce that problem. And I'll go into that in the next video. Cheers.